This is what most of the woodlands in my area look like, with a dense understory of invasive shrubs. So if your property or local park looks similar, here's how you can take the first step in restoring them. The invasive shrubs here are mostly privets and bush honeysuckles from Europe and Asia. They shade out the woodland floor and prevent native herbaceous and woody plants from regenerating. All of them have to go. If you have invasive trees in here too, they should be removed as well. We're removing these woody plants by cutting them to the ground and treating their stumps with an herbicide to prevent them from resprouting. Using the wood from these invasive shrubs, you can build wildlife brush piles for birds, amphibians, and other small animals to give them shelter and habitat. The decaying wood left on site will also support countless insects and fungi. Because of the extremely high deer pressure in my area, the odds of diverse native shrubs and trees seeding in on their own and growing to maturity is very slim. So we're planting five native shrub species and three native tree species, all adapted to these moist soils with circumneutral pH. Even when these trees mature, enough sunlight will be available to support the shrubs and hopefully an herbaceous layer as 